Welcome to Kenya, a country that offers a unique blend of breathtaking landscapes, rich cultural heritage and abundant wildlife. In this 7-day tour plan video, we will take you on a journey to some of the most incredible destinations in Kenya. You will explore the bustling city of Nairobi, the gateway to country's national parks and reserves, and home to a vibrant cultural scene. You will witness the stunning beauty of the Masai Mara, one of the most iconic wildlife reserves in the world, and get up close and personal with the big five game animals. Whether you are a nature lover, a cultural enthusiast, or just looking for an adventure, Kenya has something to offer for everyone. So, sit back, relax, and let's explore the magic of Kenya together. The best time to visit Kenya largely depends on what you want to do and see during your tour. Kenya has a tropical climate and generally two rainy seasons. The long rainy season from March to May and the short rainy season from October to December. The dry season, which is the best time for wildlife viewing, falls between January and February and between June and September. If you are interested in witnessing the great wild beast migration, one of the most spectacular wildlife events in the world, you should plan your trip between July and October when millions of wild beasts and other grazers migrate from Serengeti in Tanzania to the Masai Mara in Kenya. India and Kenya are connected by direct flights from major Indian cities including Delhi, Mumbai and Bangalore. Several airlines including Air India, Kenya Airways and Ethiopian Airlines operate flights between the two countries. The flight duration from India to Kenya varies depending on the departure city, with flights from Delhi and Mumbai taking approximately 6 to 7 hours, while flights from Bangalore take around 8 hours. Most flights land at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Nairobi, the capital city of Kenya. Indian citizens require a visa to enter Kenya. To obtain a visa for Kenya, you can apply online. The online visa application process can be completed through the e-visa portal. And the visa is valid for 90 days from the date of entry into Kenya. A valid passport with at least 6 months validity and a return ticket are required to obtain a Kenya visa. The Travel Guide Here we will start our tour from Nairobi. Day 1. Nairobi is the capital city of Kenya and a vibrant cultural and economic hub. With a rich history and a blend of modern and traditional influences, Nairobi offers visitors a variety of exciting experiences. Start your day with a visit to the Nairobi National Museum, which houses exhibits on Kenya's history, culture and wildlife. You can also see a collection of traditional African art and artifacts. Next, head to the Giraffe Center, where you can feed and interact with the endangered Rothschild's giraffes. You can also visit the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust, where you can see orphaned elephants being fed and cared for. End your day with a visit to the bustling Maasai Market where you can shop for unique crafts, souvenirs and traditional clothing. Day 2 On day 2, go to Aberdeer National Park from Nairobi. Aberdeer National Park is located approximately 150 km north of Nairobi and is a popular destination for nature lovers and adventure seekers. The most convenient way to get to Aberdeer National Park from Nairobi is by road. You can hire a taxi or a private car, which will take approximately 2-3 to three hours to reach the park. Alternatively, you can take a public bus from Nairobi to Nairi or Aberdeer and then hire a taxi to the park. Aberdeer National Park is a beautiful and unique destination located in central Kenya. The park is known for its stunning landscapes, wildlife and diverse ecosystems. 
The park is home to a variety of wildlife including elephants, buffaloes, leopards, hyenas and several species of primates. The park offers a range of activities for visitors. Here you can go for some game drives or may enjoy a guided nature walk and bird watching. The place is known for its scenic beauty which includes waterfalls, rivers and high altitude moorlands. The park has several lodges and campsites that offer accommodation for visitors. The climate in Aberdeer National Park is cool and rainy with temperatures ranging between 10 to 20 degrees centigrade. Day 3 On this day, you will go to Lake Naivasha. To reach Lake Naivasha from Aberdeer National Park, you can take a road trip of approximately 70 kilometers. That will take about one and a half to two hours, depending on traffic conditions. Upon reaching there, go for a walking tour to the Crescent Island. Crescent Island is a private game sanctuary located on Lake Naivasha and is known for its abundant wildlife and scenic views. Here is a walking tour guide for Crescent Island. Start your tour at the main gate where you will pay the entrance fee. Follow the walking trail that will take you through the savanna grassland, acacia woodland and along the lake shore. Keep an eye out for a variety of wildlife including zebras, giraffes, water box, gazelles and more. Take a break at one of the picnic spots or viewing platforms for panoramic view of Lake Naivasha and the surrounding hills. A walking tour of Crescent Island is an excellent way to experience the wildlife and natural beauty of Lake Naivasha. Day 4 A one-day tour of Hell's Gate National Park can be an exciting adventure for those who want to experience the stunning landscapes, geothermal activity and wildlife of the park. Start your day early and head to the park. The park opens at 6 a.m. So try to arrive as early as possible. The park offers several hiking trails that lead to scenic viewpoints and landmarks such as Fisher's Tower and the Central Tower. The most popular trail is the Gorge Trail which takes you through a narrow gorge and ends at a hot spring. The park is home to a variety of wildlife and you can spot animals such as giraffes, zebras, buffaloes and baboons on your hike. Hell's Gate National Park is also a popular destination for rock climbing enthusiasts. You can rent climbing gear and climb the towering cliffs and rock formations in the park. Leave the park in the late afternoon. A one-day tour of Hell's Gate National Park can be a memorable experience that combines adventure, nature and wildlife. Day 5 The most common way to reach Masai Mara Game Reserve from Lake Naivasha is by road. You can hire a taxi, a private vehicle or take a public bus to Narok, which is the gateway to Masai Mara. From Narok, you can hire a taxi or take a public bus to the resort. An afternoon game drive to Masai Mara Game Reserve can be a thrilling experience for wildlife lovers. Arrive at the reserve in the early afternoon. Head out on a game drive in a 4x4 vehicle. During the afternoon, the animals are usually more active and you may have the chance to see the predators such as lions and leopards hunting. Masai Mara is known for its abundant wildlife including the big five, lion, leopard, elephant, buffalo and rhino as well as wild beasts, zebras, gazelles, giraffes and several species of birds. The landscape of Masai Mara is stunning with vast savannas, rolling hills and winding rivers. Keep your eyes peeled for beautiful sunsets. As the sun starts to set, stop at a scenic spot and enjoy a sundowner while taking in the beautiful scenery. Day 6 a full day of game viewing tour at Masai Mara can be an incredible experience for those who want to explore the wildlife and nature of the reserve. Start your day early with a game drive at dawn, when the animals are usually most active. You can expect to see predators such as lions, cheetahs and leopards on the hunt. 
return to your accommodation for a hearty breakfast. Spend the rest of the morning exploring the reserve and looking for other wildlife, such as elephants, giraffes, zebras, and wild beasts. Continue your game drive in the afternoon, exploring different areas of the reserve and looking for more wildlife. You may also have the opportunity to visit a Maasai village and learn about their culture and way of life. A full day of game viewing tour at Masai Mara can be an unforgettable experience that offers the opportunity to see some of the world's most incredible wildlife in their natural habitat. Day 7 On the 7th day, return back to Nairobi and catch your flight from Jomo Kenyatta International Airport for your departure. In conclusion, a 7-day tour of Kenya can be an unforgettable adventure for those who want to experience the country's natural beauty, diverse wildlife and rich culture. With its stunning landscapes, diverse wildlife and warm hospitality, Kenya is truly a magical destination that will leave you with memories to last a lifetime. If you love this tour plan, then please like and share the video. Also, do consider to subscribe our channel for more such exciting tour plans. It would be great if you could leave a line or two in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Happy traveling!